Graveyard of Terror! <laughs> Welcome to Basil's Graveyard of Terror! <laughs> Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill, and through the valley, across the town, and down the alley. Not tomorrow, not in two weeks. Be scared right now, as the skeleton shrieks! <laughs> oh. See you next time in Bezel's Graveyard of Terror. <laughs> Is that the best you can do, you plank? Skeleton's meant to shriek, not you. <laughs> Graveyard of Terror. In recent times, a bunch of losers have appeared who reckon they have special powers. They are completely wrong about this, which is a shame, as a supervillain called the Mysterious Bad Guy has come along and stolen Swindon, and there's no one else who can stop him. The stupidity continues. Thanks for that, T-Boy. Yeah, be quicker next time, maybe. <laughs> and that work experience, girl, is all you need to know to become a successful superhero like me. <laughs> now, Junius, have I told you about the time I tackled Captain Inferno with nothing but a spoon and a second-hand kettle? Yes. Yes, you have. Twice. Well, and one more won't hurt. OK, so uh, Captain uh, Inferno no, runs way. up towards me, right? And as he does, way. I that's take it. the Here spoon. We come. And that's it. That's it. Now, if I can tell you that the sink leaks, the window won't shut properly, there's a damp patch on the wall in the living room, and if we put the heating on, the boiler makes a sound like a giant robot farting. But other than that, the flat's fine, yeah? Yes, absolutely, yes. Now, oh, everybody, allow me to introduce you. Um, this is the caretaker. Oh, wow, the oh. caretaker. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Guys. How you doing, High man? five. Yeah. Oh, oh, low oh, five. Low. Oh, to the high. side. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a cool superhero name. Yeah, what a cool name. You're like the dude who caretakes things. Hey, I'm the caretaker. I take care of things in a caretaker -y kind of way. Hey, I'm a dude with a cool name. I like it. It's, it's a nice image and everything as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 dummies, about... dummies, dummies. Listen, he's not a superhero called the caretaker. He actually is a caretaker, oh. and he's here to do all the rubbish jobs that you two half-wits can't manage. Oh, 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 oh sorry about that. Mm. Easy mistake to make. Well, listen, you carry on, don't let us stop you, and we'll talk about evil crime fighting. Mm. Cup of tea, anybody? Yeah. Forager, we haven't got time for tea. We need to work out how to catch the mysterious bad guy uh -huh. and return Swindon to Swindon. <laughs> yes. Um... Uh, um, right. You it. <laughs> no, no, this, this is me thinking, acting. I know the line. Um, um, Thought my pause would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, wait, I have an idea. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Try the veal. I'm here till Thursday. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the idea is, though. I'll have another sip and I'll think about it. That's <laughs> it. Why don't we put an ad in the newspaper? <laughs> right, what we'll do, we'll put it in there and it'll say, Wanted, large Wiltshire town. Open brackets, preferably Swindon, close brackets. <laughs> We're going to be offering you lots of money and then just see who gets in touch. And that's a winning idea, mm. if ever I've heard one. Hang on, I've got a better idea. Mm. Why don't we find a town of a similar size, somewhere like Bracknell... So similar mm. in size. ...then <laughs> lay and wait to catch him red-handed as he tries to steal it. Look at this! Huh? Oh, listen, yeah? guys, listen, listen, Todd, sorry, I don't want to sound harsh. But those plans are absolutely, utterly, Stop. utterly... Right there. <gasps> no! Caretaker. My evil plans have been foiled! Hey. I don't understand, he's just a caretaker, guys. No, he's not. He's the mystery bad guy's top henchman. <gasps> Look. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. I do work for the mysterious bad guy. And I just love being evil. Ooh. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Duh. Well done. Listen, why can't you two be more like the T-boy in the I work mean, experience? Go, very good, well, well, well done, no, no, excellent. No. Well, think, no, think, I, well, basically, I knew. Yeah. I knew he was the bad guy. <laughs> what, I was, what I was doing was, because it's important 
for kids, for the kids these days to learn young. how to be superheroes like what we is. And that's why I didn't That's say true. Like, that. Yeah. like we didn't yeah. even know. Come on, mysterious bad guy. He couldn't get one See? over us. He knows everything I've got about these Norman, Norman, well, you know. Norman Super Sits like... Da, 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 da. Look at him go. Like, <laughs> oh, how marvellous. The caretaker's secret camera means I can now see everything the super losers get up to. Of course, I could just watch it next week like everyone else. Oh, but that's not really evil enough. <laughs> if you typed in superhero on the internet, I'll exactly. be just there, you know, just chilling. He knows his stuff. Knows Next his stuff. week on I'm Zeros, cool like that, the you know. forager does his best supervillain impression. <laughs> Hiya, I'm a really bad evil bad guy and I've got a really evil voice. <laughs> Red Melvin turns into a bookworm. I'm not just going to be Red Melvin, I'm going to be well Red Melvin. <laughs> and Foxman finally trumps evil. Oh, oh, that smells bad. Actually stinks. Oh, I'm chewing Zeros, <laughs> making their city, sorry, their city, a safer place. <laughs> Down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. So the zebras and the tigers are through to this, the next round of games. Now, for their next game, we're in this wonderful setting of the world-famous Animal Balloon Museum. Beautiful. Take a look at these over here. These are the exhibits. And uh, this, of course, is a textbook classic in the balloon modelling world. This, of Don't course, touch is the... that, please, sir. I'm sorry. I wasn't really touching. I was just pointing and showing it. Don't even point at it. It's an expensive piece of balloon. Oh! Oh! oh. It was. Oh, yeah. Another one. <laughs> Yeah, you get, you Don't get, tell my boss. Yeah, you get on with that. OK, uh, moving on. Uh, we've got the giraffe, of course, another textbook classic. Uh, and over here, I don't really know what they are. They're sort of abstract, really. Basil, any ideas? What animal is that? Um, I don't think they're animals, Barney. Why don't you read the sign? OK. Um, it says, contestants for the game called Ooh, I Could Crush a Grape. <gasps> Bingo! So this is Ooh, I Could Crush a Grape. And that's exactly what our contestants have to do. Yep, it's who can crush and burst all their balloon grapes the fastest by any means necessary. But they must stay within the confines of the fruit bowl arena. Yes, it's very important. But should your balloons pop off in any way, it's up to your mascots to grab them and put them back into the fruit bowl. You must not leave it. Now, to make it easier for you, if you take a look at the glove there on James's right hand, you can see there's some sandpaper on there. That makes it really easy to pop the balloons. The game is quite simply to find out who can crush their grapes in the fastest time. OK, Basil? Right, teams, no whining. Here we go. Three, two, one. Crash away! Two more, two more in the back. Oh, on the well. well done. Wow. 